Hey, uh, you misspelled have. It's actually spelled have. You want me to correct it for you? R slash mildly infuriating. Oh, and disclaimer. 20 bucks says the stalker who did this is about ready to quit because, I mean, not only is that not cranberry peach, but, I mean, come on, it's, uh, or maybe just some asshole just threw it there and doesn't even care. Either way, someone needs to be castrated. Oh, you goddamn animal. Ugh. What the hell is wrong with you, you backwater goblin? God damn, go back to your nest. Ugh. How the hell does this happen? I mean, it's it's painted on, right? And the lines are supposed to line up with the bricks, but they managed to perfectly paint the wrong brick. How does that happen? How? If you do this on purpose, you're a goddamn degenerate and you don't belong on this planet. This is... This is unacceptable. How could you? Why? There... I, I could understand if the straw goes through the goddamn pouch, but doing this? What's... Who hurt you? This picture tells a story of a man who was trying to trim his hedges, but then uh, managed to uh, chop off a bit of the banister there and probably injure himself. So he just quit. And now you have this. Isn't that just great? Oh, no, all those are crooked. Oh, fix that, please. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. What else is wrong here? Oh my God, that one's upside down. How the hell did I miss that? Oh, and the frame is all fucked up, Jesus. Oh, someone just tear this whole building down just to fix the problem, my God. Oh, come on, you, ugh. You couldn't just, like, put it into the actual trash can? It's not even full, it's just... How lazy do you have to be to just... Oh, I'm just gonna put it on top of here because I'm a complete fucking degenerate! Oh, boy. Oh, okay. Uh, okay, thankfully this is fixable. It'll take about, like, a day of work, though, but... How do you screw it up that badly? Just line it up, and the spacing is off as well, it's just wrong on every level. I'm stuffed, Lamau completely demolished these wings. No, you f did not. Go back and finish your plate, you goddamn marsupial. I'm coming back as I'm editing because this pisses me off to an unreasonable extent. God damn it. There's, what did you do? Nibble on the skin and call it good like Eric Cartman? Jesus Christ. Oh, what kind of goddamn monster created this? Oh, this is someone who just hates people. This isn't, please let that be, nope, title says toilet paper. Oh, the doors of hell have been opened for a very special someone. Hey everyone, you can have a genuine teddy bear super soft rug for either 50 pounds 49.99 pounds or 50 pounds <laughs> they're all different because fuck you oh boy i feel this on just oh this this brings back some memories of middle school with the super cheap paper milk cartons that would always do this no matter which end you open it from ah now you get to like stick your fingers through there and punch it open now your fingers are covered in milk and it's not a fun time but thank God this is a goldfish package. You know what would be a great design feature? Asymmetry in the 1960s when buildings are still being made of brick. Yeah, that's a great idea. Let's put the window off center too and not give it a partner. Yeah, that's some modern styling and won't look terrible in 60 years. Oh, I hate it when this happens. Oh, this happened with Fallout 76. Not only was that a huge waste of $60, might I add, but I wanted the actual disc because I have a really fast read and write disc drive and I thought it'd be a lot easier than just downloading it over my slow as hell internet. But no, instead I got this little cardboard flimsy disc with the code. Isn't that just hilarious? Is it, is it really that hard just to make sure the square is rotated properly? Or do you just not care enough? I'm gonna go with the latter for this one because come on. Oh boy, I'm not even a reader in this, this like, this hurts, you can't even put them on your shelf and have them all lined up. Ugh. 
That just ruins the whole aesthetic of having a bookshelf. Now the volumes are all jiggly done fu- oh. God damn it. Oh. <laughs> They couldn't bother to like put the manhole on properly, so it's just kind of tilted. Oh, It feels like the worker who put this back into place did this on purpose, and I don't like them because of that. Oh, what happened here? It looks- it just- it just looks like someone gave up partway through and it's like, Ooh, let's- let's make it kind of quirky here and just have a bunch of rubble there. Ooh, that's real cool. Yeah, but now the only problem is you can't clean up that area as shown by the leaves, so... <laughs> Ugh. Finish the job. <laughs> hey, uh, here's your acceptance letter. Do not bend, but, uh... UPS don't care. <laughs> we do whatever the f*** we want. Oh, God, it's not level. This is one of those things that you cannot fix without some serious renovation. And once you notice it, it's going to bug you every single day for the rest of the time that you're in the house. Ugh. That, that sucks. Oh, this would bug me enough to buy a new watch. Oh boy. Oh, just that off-centered charging logo, because if this is off-centered, I wonder what else is off-centered on this thing, because that can't be the only thing. Ah, uh, look what we have here. We have a Borderlands 3, kind of nice panoramic thing. All the thumbnails here sort of complete the image and just make it in general a nice, nope, you Fortnite. We gotta have the Fortnite in there because we need more kids in the battle bus. <laughs> this should tell you everything you need to know about how fast your internet is. <laughs> you can't even load the speed test, then maybe you should consider switching providers. Oh, come on. It couldn't have been that hard to make all the glass panes match. <laughs> Seriously, it, it's... Did you just settle and it's like, oh, we ordered uh, three of these ones, but one of these, I guess there's nothing we can do about it. Ha <laughs> ha. Come on. <sighs> what are you, some kind of animal that just can't open the bag regularly? Or are you just trying to show off in front of your friends in the lunchroom because you're that one little special child who doesn't have a actual proper place and probably just floats around the lunchroom because no one actually likes you. So you do sh like this to make yourself seem more quirky, but everyone looks at you in goddamn disgust because you do stuff like this. Remember how earlier I was talking about how the volumes lining up creates a really nice bookshelf aesthetic? Well, sometimes people just decide to completely not even care and why not? Let's just put them in any order we want to. And how come 10 is so discolored? Is it just used more or something? Oh god, is this the Pearson Online Lab thing? Oh, this thing is garbage. Enter a mathematical expression, 6 over 9. It's not a mathematical expression. Also, 6, 9. Nice. <laughs> oh. Oh. Whoever tried opening this is probably having a really bad day because... Oh, that's just pain right there. I... <laughs> How do you mutilate the bag this badly? Like, <laughs> oh god, double parking. Okay, so here's my hot take on this. If you double park in a crowded parking lot where there's a lot of people, you're an asshole. But if you double park in the back of an almost empty parking lot to protect yourself from door dings and you're mostly just inconveniencing yourself because you have to walk a quarter of a mile just to get to Walmart, then I think it's, it's okay because Door dings are, are just a pain in the ass to deal with, and it, it really sucks. <laughs> oh, I feel this pain. Oh, those, those little, like, dip in sauce packets that just don't tear off properly, and you always end up having to, like, reach underneath and get your fingers into the dip, and now you're covered in dip, dips everywhere, and you're miserable, and all you wanted was a little bit of garlic dip, but guess what? Now you made a mess. This is one of those things that you put a nightstand or something in front of to try to hide it, but even though your guests will never know the monstrosity lurking behind the nightstand, you always will. It will always be there, gnawing at the back of your mind, and there's nothing you can do about it. Now the best part is, I probably just reminded a few of you where the crooked outlets are in your home. Have fun. Oh, this is... okay, okay, we talked about double parking earlier, but this is beyond... Oh. Come on. This is just like a whole level up from double parking. This is just... 
Dude, unless that street is unbelievably narrow, that's just... How do you screw up this badly? Oh boy, it's an announcement in the outro. I'm gonna be streaming and stuff on my gaming channel coming pretty soon, so if you want to interact with me and all that jazz, uh... Yeah, that's an option. So... So go do that if you want to. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you all later.